Hi guys, welcome back to Herky the Cavalier's channel. My name is Mai, this is Milton, and today we want to talk to you about nail cutting. Our channel welcome my name is Mai this is Milton Herky is all the way down there we upload dog lifestyle content and we are your go-to source for everything Cavalier so if you're new feel free to binge on all our playlists and if you like my t-shirt by the way this is from this is from our brand Cavology this is the Cav Mom Blenheim t-shirt this is also available in all Cavalier colors it's available on t-shirts on sweatshirts the choice is yours I just really thought this was cute I have so many Cavology uh, t-shirts and sweatshirts upstairs. So whenever I film at the office, I love to change it up Let me know if you like my t-shirt and check out the link in the description box below and let's get into the video So today's video is all about nail cutting and I know this can be something very stressful to dog owners I know a lot of people have their groomers do it, but we've always done it at home to be honest I'm not the most comfortable doing it and I always do it with Andy I've up loaded videos in the past cutting their nails and how we do it but today I wanted to compare three nail cutting devices that we have so this is a quick overview of the three devices that we have for nail cutting if you've been a follower of ours for eight years seems so long you, you've seen this exact device before we've always used this nail cutting device on Herky Andy had two dogs before so this is the device that he was comfortable with with cutting their nails and this is what we've been using for the past eight years I did notice that now they don't really sell this kind of device anymore they sell this kind of device this one is, is sort of for you to clip sideways and it does have a stopper in the back maybe there's been a lot of accidents before maybe this is just a safer alternative but to be honest we use this one still most of the time so there's these two traditional nail cutting devices but there's also this new one that I've been trying out and it's a nail grinder. It's electronic and it's really silent. I'm going to turn it on. Let me know if you hear something. Like it vibrates, but the sound is very gentle. You can adjust the speed with this little wheel right here. It's very comfortable to hold. I haven't used it a ton, but this is definitely a good alternative when you want to use something on your dog, but you're afraid of actually cutting. So when you cut your dog's nails, of course, you don't want to cut when there's the vein. So my biggest tip to you would to use either this device that has a stopper or use a nail grinder if you want to go and you want to go slowly. Cut little by little, but for sure you have to stop when you see that little white tip. So it's easier when your dog has clear nails like Herky and Milton because if you look on the side at their nails, you can see where the vein is. So you want to obviously stop before you hit there. You just want to trim the little bit before. Like for anything with your dog, if your dog seems to be stressed out about nail cutting, make sure that you have a lot of treats on hand. Be very patient with them. Don't just force them into it. Hold them, pet them, offer them treats, and just go slowly, especially when it's your first time. I would suggest also to start it as soon as possible for when so when they're puppies, you can already start holding their paws so that they're, they're used to you handling them and that they're not too startled when you start clipping. So out of these three devices, I would say that my go to honestly is this one I just feel very comfortable with this I like how um, I can see on the side so I kind of hold it like this so I kind of hold the clip like this and then I can see on the side uh, where the pink vein is and then I clip accordingly but as I mentioned I usually do this with Andy so one of us holds the dog and one of us clips if I was to do it alone I would probably opt for the nail grinder since it's very gentle or sometimes I would even go for this one with the stopper since I go little by little. Like if it's only little trims, I want to use this one. A guideline for you to know when you should clip your dog's nails is that when you hear their claws on the, on the ground, it's probably a sign that their claws are too long. And it can actually affect their joints and their overall health if their claws are too long and they keep walking on them. Just because it's going to affect how they walk and they're going to have to compensate with their joints somehow. So always make sure that their claws, their nails or claws, do you guys say claws or nails? 
Always make sure that their claws are cut and trimmed. It's going to be better for your floors, but also for their joints. This nail grinder is very practical because it doesn't require any batteries. It's rechargeable, so it has this little... I think this is like a USB-C to USB port. It's rechargeable. You can bring it on vacation. It's very practical. I would also use this whenever, you know when you clip your dog's nails and then it's sort of rough around the edges, you can always use this to trim their little their little claws for them to be uh, not as snaggy. I hate when I clip Hurricane and Milton's nails and then after that they scratch my legs. Oh my gosh, it hurts so much. This is a great tool for that. So if you're interested in trying out any of these devices, I'm going to include links for whatever I can down in the description box below. But let me know what's your nail cutting routine. It can be as simple as I take my dog to the groomer and I let them do it. There's no judgment. This is a safe place. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you too. If you want to see more grooming videos, we do have a whole playlist on it. Make sure you check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. We love you guys and we'll see you soon. Bye.